Yeah, a lot of people like so people know that I'm kind of a madman, and this is I was talking to some I was talking to another buddy about this earlier. Um, I I have a weird way of viewing the world around me. I guess like I don't look at things normally, and I've kind of just accepted that. And I've hit this point in time where I just don't feel like explaining myself to people who don't understand that I'm kind of a weirdo. <laughs> so. And that goes with like a lot of things that like that goes with how I approach life. It goes with how I approach money, how I approach jobs, uh, even like software development. Everybody that I've every software developer I've ever worked with is incredibly uh, meticulous and calculated. I'm a fucking madman. I have no fear. And I'm like, let's just try this. And if it doesn't work, we have a backup repo. So let's just do shit and see what happens. And I stress everybody out, like especially software developers, because they're very faint of heart. Um, but they were like, oh my god, what are you doing, what are you doing? And I'm like, hey, stop being a bitch, let's go, let's do this. Um, but when it comes to, like, there, Adil, why, okay, so this is why I have to explain myself to people. Because a lot of people have doubt. And here's the thing, I'm an early business, right? Like, I literally just started this thing. And while I've had experiences doing freelance work and also uh, having another business with my, my buddy with jewelry, there's a very real risk involved obviously but people are naturally very risk averse so their gut reaction is to tell you why you're wrong or why you're going to fail or why something isn't going to work or why this is a problem and it's understandable like i'm not faulting anybody for doing it but also that's that kind of mentality can set you back and to, you should heed that caution right like you shouldn't just completely ignore it that's ignorant but to an extent like i have a vision and I know that vision is attainable, and I know deep down that what I'm doing makes sense, right? So you're gonna have to like ride alongside me and just accept the fact that while you don't get it, you're just gonna have to trust me, or you, you, you just stay a hater. Like those are, those are your two options. And my wife is the complete opposite of me. Like I need chaos. I need like I need the lack of structure. I need full control to myself, and I need to be left alone to my devices. If you guys have ever played Valorant, I'm a Viper player, all right. And if you don't know anything about Viper players, if you're on offense, you plant the bomb in a very specific spot and you run your ass away, right? And you sit there and you stare at a fucking dot in the ceiling at the wall. The whole team, four people are yelling at you, like, "What are you doing? They're defusing!" Blah, 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 blah. And then you get one kill, two kill, three kills because you're just sitting there shooting poison. You win the round, everyone's praising you, and you're just like, "Shut the fuck up! I know what I'm doing. None of you guys know what the fuck I'm doing. Shut up!" Like that is kind of how. Also, this is why I don't play Valorant. <laughs> but that's also how I am as a person, right? Um, I know, like, I know what I'm doing, and I know that I know what I'm doing, but other people don't. So you just have to trust me or things are gonna go wrong, right? I'm that kind of person. My wife is a project manager. My wife has everything on a schedule. Every little conversation is written down on a schedule. She is organi organization queen. If you look at our apartment, it is, it's not mad, like this is fucking madness. This stresses her out every day. But for me, like in all of the stuff outside, it's, it, it looks like an Airbnb. It's like really pretty, it's very organized. Um, and like we complement each other really well, but most people are like my wife. Not everyone is like me. I don't even know why we were fucking talking about this, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's it. What were we even talking about before this?